Well, thanks for visiting us this morning at KTALnews.com. I'm meteorologist Josh Marses, and this is your Thursday morning forecast update. Really warm day today as high temperatures will be in the mid to upper 80s. Likely dry weather today, but that is going to change here soon. We are looking at some rain coming in tomorrow, and the heaviest rain will come in late Sunday into Monday, and we have several days of storms in the forecast next week. So once again, probably looking at a flood watch coming out here shortly as we have the threat of heavy rain in a couple of chances for severe weather. So stick around to the end of the video here and I'll have an update on that. But today will be another partly to mostly cloudy day. We do have some rain popping up uh, well to the north of us. This is the same front that brought a few of those scattered showers yesterday. It's actually lifting to the north here. So that will carry most of the rain away from us. So I have not included any rain in today's forecast, at least after sunrise. We could see a few showers north of I-30 early this morning, but uh, continues to warm up. We're in the 60s and low 70s. South wind will get going again today some light wind yesterday but we'll be back into those breezy conditions for the next uh, few days here not too bad today but the winds will start gusting to about 30 miles per hour tomorrow and that south wind continues to carry a lot of humidity in so very muggy out there and uh, very warm days we will wind up in the mid to upper 80s expect we'll see a little more sun today than what we saw yesterday so that's the reason the temperatures will be a few degrees warmer here now the severe weather culprit the heavy rain culprit will be this area of low pressure back here in the desert southwest that is going to swing through the plains this weekend and uh, result in a multi-day severe weather threat for much of the country here and it looks like sunday is probably the day uh, to closely watch for us but we can't rule out maybe a few strong storms late tomorrow as well so future cast from robbins toyota showing the dry conditions today uh, just a lot of clouds out there tomorrow morning and now initially these storms that come in friday uh, likely will not be severe but will warm up in the afternoon you can see these little storm clusters uh, friday afternoon friday evening mainly in Texas Oklahoma and Arkansas and a few of these could bring some wind and hail issues and it can't rule out a tornado but it looks like the best ingredients for uh, maybe the rotating storms or tornadoes will stay to the north of the Arkletex but just make sure you're checking back for the update tomorrow and it will likely dry out Saturday so Saturday is still looking okay for those outdoor plans but uh, there's the severe weather risk for tomorrow basically for the uh, northwest corner of the Arkletex here your threat along I-30 will be uh, slightly higher we're in that slight risk outlook again wind and hail will be the main issues for us and then on sunday uh, outlook remains unchanged expecting these storms will maybe come in between 4 p.m and midnight maybe even carry into monday morning and i think sunday's threat would be uh, slightly more concerning we could see some wind and hail but it looks like the tornado window uh, could be a little higher on sunday so we're taking a look at sunday again morning will likely be dry but you'll see this slow moving uh, line of storms pushing in during the afternoon and evening very slow movement with this so we could see some heavy rain and uh, weather prediction center over the next seven days forecasting about two to four inches of rain with the uh, bullseye of heavy rain maybe even four to five inches being north of i-30 so this will obviously cause some rises on our liver rivers and lakes once again but fortunately we've been able to see those levels come down uh, somewhat over the last week so at least in the short term we're in pretty good shape here but we'll have to watch next week uh, rain will taper off a bit monday but we do expect some more scattered storms uh, next Tuesday and Wednesday as well. Nothing that uh, jumps out and looks severe there, but we'll keep you updated on that over the next week.